Hello everyone, my name is Dave Knight and welcome back to Diabetic Savvy, where we adapt great recipes to be diabetic friendly. Today, we're working on a great side dish called chilled couscous salad. This is a great fusion dish that blends together Mediterranean ingredients and Western flavors. So hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in a few seconds for chilled couscous salad. I was reading a statistic the other day that said the average unrestricted American diet is made up of less than nine different meals per month. That is absolutely crazy to me. Which makes this dish that we're making today even more important just from a variety perspective, not to mention that we've made it carb deliberate. This dish comes down to contrasting textures, which makes it so great. You've got the nice chew of the couscous, which is a Mediterranean pasta. We'll talk about that in a minute, along with the crunch of the nuts and the chew and sweetness of the uh, apricots and cranberries and the saltiness and the acidity of the lemon juice. The ingredients for this dish are one cup of water, one half cup of pearl couscous, or also known as Israeli couscous. There's two varieties that are the most readily available in the United States today. Pearl couscous, which we have here, and then Moroccan couscous, which is its finer, finer relative, if you will. Um, in this type of application, I really think the pearl couscous makes the dish. So while it takes a little bit longer to cook, about eight to 10 minutes, it really is a, an amazing, amazing version. It's, it's really the proper version to use. What's gonna make this diabetic friendly and carb deliberate is we're exchanging out some of the couscous for a cup and a half of riced cauliflower. Now, this is cauliflower that I hand chopped and I did not cook it. Um, I kept it raw because the other textures in the dish lend itself to wanting a cauliflower that has a little bit of a bite to it. So we're actually going to steam this while the couscous cooks by just adding it to the cooking water of the couscous and letting it soften a little bit that way. Next we have a tablespoon of slivered almonds, two tablespoons of chopped pistachios, a tablespoon of dried cranberries, one tablespoon of chopped dried apricots, a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and a tablespoon of stevia, powdered stevia. Uh, that will give us the sweetness in the dish and enhance the apricots and the cranberries without giving us extra sugar. So where we start with this dish is really simple. We want to pour our water into a pan. We're going to bring this to a boil over the stove. And we want to combine our stevia, our olive oil, our salt, and our lemon juice. We're going to give that a really good stir. Once it, once it comes to a boil, we're going to add our couscous and let it sit for eight to 10 minutes. All right, our liquids come to a boil now. We'll pour in the couscous. Turn this down to a simmer, which is about medium, medium low, give this a good stir. And then we'll pour in our cauliflower. Give that a good stir. Cover it and we're back here in about eight minutes to check and make sure our couscous is done and I'll see you back over at the counter. Welcome back, it's been 10 minutes and our couscous and cauliflower should be perfectly cooked. Let's take a look. Now this looks really good. You may have a little bit of extra water left over depending upon the cauliflower. The cauliflower will release some liquid. If you have a little bit of liquid like we have here, just grab your lid and drain it off. We drained off a little bit of that extra water that we talked about that was coming out of the cauliflower. And now we have a warm couscous cauliflower mixture that I think is ready for all the, all the rest of the ingredients. You always wanna add the dried fruit and the nuts while the couscous is still hot. That dried fruit will continue to absorb some of that remaining water that will come out from the couscous. They'll also soften a little bit. And this looks really good. 
We're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes uncovered so it will fully cool. Then we'll chop our parsley and we'll have chilled couscous salad. See you back here in about 30 minutes. Welcome back. It's been 30 minutes and our couscous salad is fully cooled. Now we're just gonna mince the parsley, fold it in, and it's ready to eat. And there's nothing quite like fresh, garden-grown parsley. All right, so we've plated up our couscous salad. Time to take a bite. Really good. You get the cranberries, the apricots. You don't taste any of the cauliflower whatsoever. That's partially because of what we cooked the couscous and the cauliflower in together. They absorbed all those flavors and really came together. Mm. Really good. Chilled couscous salad. A great blend of Mediterranean ingredients and Western flavor. We hope you'll enjoy it. We hope you'll make it. Please add it to your repertoire and your menu. As is customary, we'll leave the full recipe and nutritional information at the end of the video. We will also document and share my blood sugar information so you can see, or at least get a good idea of how it might affect your blood sugar as well. Be carb deliberate, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon.